I'm your number one fan. There is nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, Stephen King and Rob Reiner's masterpiece of terror, Misery. Paul Sheldon, a popular author, he's just finished another story. Old post-writing habits, a cigarette, a bottle of Dom Perignon, and then off to New York, a snowstorm, crash. I'm your number one fan. Safe, but broken for a while. His savior, Annie Wilkes, just happens to be a nurse with a nice house out in the sticks. Within his salvaged effects, she shows him his bag with the new manuscript in. She asks if she can read it. He obliges her. She goes away to read. When she returns, like a switch, she goes from the nice, warm, if slightly unusual, host to unhinged. She can't be dead. Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Annie, in 1871, women often died in childbirth. But her spirit is the important thing, and Misery's spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! Paul is unable to leave due to his injuries, and from what Annie has told him, due to the, the weather, the main roads to the hospital are blocked. So he's at her mercy. Of all of King's novels adapted for the screen, this, in my opinion, is the pinnacle. Rob Reiner had already made Stand By Me, which was based on King's short novel, The Body. Written by William Goldman, the author of The Princess Bride, which was directed by Reiner. So this is a dream team. There are other notable names I've noticed. The cinematographer Barry Sonnenfeld would go on to direct The Adams Family and Men in Black. The special makeup effects legends, Robert Kurtzman, Greg Nicotaro, and Howard Berger, and Norman Garwood, the guy who designed Brazil, The Princess Bride, and Hook. The big selling point are the two leads. James Kahn proving he's still a damn good actor. Kathy Bates, a career best. And there aren't many strong female villains in horror, and she became the first to win an Academy Award. Annie, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. <laughs> Annie, for God. God's sake. It's for the best. Hey, please! Horror was back in the mainstream. 